I was thinking that me getting lost in Stormwind would be some hilarious footage too. <laughs> I have not seen this since they, they, you know, changed it to this sprawling behemoth. They did, they did make some changes. This is pretty nice actually. Hey guys, my name is Five Shot, and uh, I make rogue videos on YouTube along with a lot of other games. Uh, my YouTube channel is Gregory06, and I have another YouTube channel which I don't put videos up for, but that's Five Shot Wow. Um, some of my videos are on there, but uh, you can find all my new videos on youtube.com slash Gregory06. Okay, well, hello uh, to Five Shot, and welcome to MMO Anthropology. I figured that I'd grab him and uh, interview him. Yes. Uh, as everyone can see, I've got my interface off, so it's much more difficult for me to do interesting little emotes. Uh, but uh, he has a video series where he's been working on essentially rogue PvP, uh, showing off stuff on YouTube, and he's also introduced other things. And so I figured that I would uh, ask some questions about the opportunities that he's found on YouTube and how that interacts with his uh, gameplay. So, uh, Five Shot, could you uh, tell us how you got... <laughs> Ooh. Woo! <laughs> I love those, actually. <laughs> could, could you tell us how, how you got into to, um, recording uh, YouTube videos out of uh, World of Warcraft? Okay, well, I started uh, a long, long time ago. Back in Vanilla WoW, I uh, made this video called the dangerous effects of WoW, and I made it with my longtime friend, and it was just you know a silly little video in real life. And then I wanted to actually get footage from in game on there, but I, I didn't have the means to, and I didn't even know about Fraps until much later. But um, that was my first like WoW related video. But I knew I wanted to make some videos because I had seen uh, a lot of other people's videos, including I, I saw Swifty's video early on. I also saw this hunter named. I think it's die die next or something something along those lines, and I I wanted to like you know, because uh, I just got entertained. I just got like entranced into you know some some of them were actually like storytelling ones too. So like the Mushroomina you know. sort of stuff. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, there's a there's a warrior video of like a story about a, a, a female human warrior that that grew up. Um, and to avenge her father's death, and I thought that was really cool. And then they they showed PvP in game of that. So um, I didn't ever end up doing anything quite like that, but um, I followed like the uh, you know the, the Swifty kind of format of just putting drum and bass to a bunch of crazy sped up PvP clips, and I guess that worked out. <laughs> Um, how has that uh, affected your uh, your gameplay? Like, have you gotten people who uh, came into game and uh, tried to join your guild, or, or wanted to join with you because you were posting videos, or challenge you? Like, so I mean, since you're doing PvP videos, you're essentially competitive. Yes. Um, well, it, it, seeing myself like on, on on online, I guess, and seeing the comments, it would actually like you know improve my gameplay. Um, seeing some critiques. Um, some nastiness too, but yeah, because <laughs> um, because uh, people tend to tend to hate no matter what. Um, but yeah, people would you know duel me outside of Stormwind or Ironforge actually was the, the prime place for that, and um, it's it was just um, back then like that's that's that was the main thing was like you know dueling, you know one v one, you know am I better than this guy? Well, let's find out one v one. It's not really <laughs> no longer the case that much right now, but it's still a fun part of the game. Um, well, uh, I've lost the plot here. Uh, <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> that's fine. I mean, it, it leads me into another question that I had, especially about uh, competition in World of Warcraft. As most of my viewers by now are going to realize that I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much hardcore, very much PvE. I'm, I'm not very into PvP and uh, actual competition, but, you know, I get into it every now and then, but for for you, what was the draw of competing against other people? Um, you know, 
searchlight. The whole big thing about that, okay, that, that that started in my mind as you know something that was just I had to do that because PVE is all is really cool, and I was in a high end PVE guild in BC, BC and we took out uh, up to Hygel until I quit, mm. but. Um, I, I really enjoy just the, the competition because back in um, Vanilla WoW, leveling up, there was huge competition, even you know with gankings and Stranglethorn Veil vale and stuff. And then I would get a higher level, I would get up to like 55, and then I would go to the Horde, you know, contested area near Thousand Needles in the Mirage Flats, whatever they call that, and I would just I would go ganking people with my friends, and it was it was just it was really fun. It's it for some reason it has some sort of a a psycho psycho psychosomatic yeah, psychotropic or yeah yeah <laughs> some kind of effect with me that you know just that competition with somebody else knowing that you know you're 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 killing somebody else that's actually you know in the real world instead of a dragon oh right and uh you know that they can come back with their friends and potentially get revenge and that sort of thing oh and they did they did <laughs> <laughs> um i uh how um, like how well have you done in the PvP? I mean, do you seek uh, any sort of notoriety, like uh, entering into arenas or ladders and stuff like that? I I did. I mean, I sometimes I compete in arena and stuff. Um, when I do, it's not really the funnest part of WoW because it's just it's all about winning, and it's not really about having fun. Right. Um, but you know, I have gotten um, 2200 ish everywhere in, in all brackets um, and you know it's it's cool being up there and like yeah you're above other people but it's not really that's not really what drives me and what really drives me is you know people liking the entertaining videos I put out not so much the the boring you know arena footage <laughs> oh look at this I, I won this game and it was a 3v3 equal matched uh, CC fest that went on for 10 minutes and then we finally got a kill right um, it's it's more of the like the one v four, something like that in like a Rathi Basin or or World PVP puts like music and stuff and it's just that that feel is it's more that's more epic, uh, it, yeah, that's that's more of the the feel mm -hmm. of my uh, my liking of World of Warcraft. That actually segues nicely into the next thing I was going to ask, which was I noticed that like you've moved not to do not just World of Warcraft, but you also started a uh, sort of uh, what is this? the you mad bro mondays thing you know, where <laughs> yes. you're just picking segments where where people either get extremely frustrated or they say something funny uh at at just normal game mechanics or 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 say they're getting beaten down i mean that certainly happens uh wh what mm -hmm. led you to oh it can be frustrating yes <laughs> well wh what led you to to start putting those up my friend brian he's an uh irl mm -hmm. friend uh Along with my friend John, he's his name is Validity in Game. Brian is Wicked Arrow. We just casually do arenas sometimes, and we're sometimes at his uh, my friend John's house, or we're on Skype together. My friend Brian is so emotional in in the game when things go wrong, not his way, or even if it's not his fault, but mostly when it is his fault, he he blows up. And I captured it one day, and I just I had to start this series. So like. It's and then I opened it up to other people who wanted to submit their clips. Most of them have been complete garbage. Yeah. You know, no offense to the people, but I could tell some of them are like either stupid or fake. But I've I've gotten a few good sub submissions. So it's I just I laugh so hard when people rage, and it's it's my my friend Brian laughs too at it <laughs> um, after the fact. Um, of course not. During oh right, the fact, yeah. So because he's certain currently his blood is up, so he's probably going to continue raging at it whatever comes his way. Yeah. I just, I love the effect that video games have on people, and it's just, it's hilarious, and I figured I'd make a weekly segment out of it. I mean, uh, you've mentioned that it has something of a, a you know, psychotropic effect for you, you know, or psychosomatic, you know, it makes you feel good, and, and you you receive the endorphins for, for rushing in and actually taking people apart, and when people come back, you know, like the challenge, and so... Yeah. The you mad bro is looking at sort of the other side of it, like you know, people getting, uh, you know, so engaged that they that their passion spills out. Yeah, the you mad bro Mondays is is basically the 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 pinnacle of what happens on the emotional side on the other side of the the PVP videos that I have made. <laughs> so that, it's like the the worst case scenario. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, uh, that about does it for the questions that I thought that I'd field. Um, except I thought that I'd leave one last, which was, what is what are some of the the best elements that you've discovered about uh, coming into games like World of Warcraft, uh, especially uh, if you do so, you know, gaming with your IRL friends? That is the main driving force, honestly. Um, I've I've had these friends for at least eight or nine years, and um, I wouldn't play WoW if they didn't play WoW. Um, I wouldn't play. They're about to play Star Wars. Oh online. yeah. I'm I'm gonna play with them. Um, my friend Brian plays Call of Duty. I play Call of Duty with him. There isn't a single multiplayer game that I play alone. And um, that honestly, if, if people are, you know, not having fun in WoW or not having fun elsewhere, um, what I suggest to them is to either get IRL friends <laughs> and see if they want to play with them because that really makes it a lot better or just quit, honestly, um, and go have fun with your friends IRL. And if you don't have any friends, find some because <laughs> <laughs> friends are like the best thing that, you know, can happen ever. Um, and it's not really an understatement because it's, it's not, you know, people being immature that they need, you know, they need friends to make their life complete. It's actually, you know, life isn't complete without friends. So that's what I have to say. Excellent. To well, thank you for so much for the interview. Uh, and for everyone, this is uh, five shot. He has a YouTube channel, which I'm going to link, you know, below the video for everyone. And, oh. uh, <laughs> Uh, everyone else, you good night and good dreams.